Hello, my friends. Today is July 5th. Our topic is dissociation disorder. My friends, what is this dissociation disorder? And what causes this disorder? Dissociation disorder is something that makes you detached from people and want to live alone due to fear, failure, and humiliation. Also, you might dissociate when you are very stressed or after something traumatic has happened to you. However, what is the consequences of dissociation disorder? Their thoughts, their tone of voice, the way they see will be different and sometimes violent. And above all, fear and stress. My friends, our meditation comes to us from Isaiah chapter 59, verse 1 and 2. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, nor his ear heavy that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated you from your God, and your sins have hidden his face from you, so that he will not hear. My friends, sin actually causes dissociation with God. Sin doesn't allow us to trust and obey Jesus. Sin will block the hope and blessings of Jesus Christ. When sin dominates people, their thoughts will be negative. The way they see things will be pessimistic. The tone of voice will have no love and mercy. Anyway, my friends, how to deal with this spiritual dissociation? Three simple ways from the Bible, but very effective. Number one, Proverbs 17 Verse 9, forgive yourself first. Don't dwell upon your past bitterness. Come out of it. Forgive yourself. Just tell yourself, I should have not spoken like that. I should have not done like that. Just stop blaming yourself. Get away from the guilty conscience. Number 2, Luke chapter 6 verse 37 says, forgive others. What is number one? Forgive yourself. And number two, forgive others. Don't judge others and you will not be judged. Don't condemn others so that you will not be condemned. Forgive others and you will be forgiven. My friends, what goes around comes around. If you forgive others, you will be forgiven. And number three, 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. Confess your sins. Confession is one of the most effective spiritual decisions. Confession will connect you and God instantaneously. If you confess your sin, God is faithful and just to forgive you your sins and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. My friends, are you feeling guilty about your past? Is your heart still burdened about what others have done to you? Would you like to have peace of mind from spiritual dissociation disorder? Here is the prophecy from Isaiah 59 verse 21. As for me, says the Lord, this is my covenant with them, my spirit who is upon you and my words which I have put in your mouth shall not depart from your mouth, nor from the mouth of your descendants, nor from the mouth of your descendants' descendants, says the Lord, from this time and forevermore. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for the assurance and hope you have given us. Many times we suffer spiritual disassociation disorder. Forgive our sins, Lord. Help us to forgive ourselves. Help us to forgive others. 
and help us to confess so that you will be faithful to forgive all our sins. Thank you so much, dear Lord, for that love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.